the 5 o'clock. Bill would be very proud of us starting this late. So uh, thank you for coming to the Christmas Eve service. We're going to do some songs and a little message, and then somebody's going to talk with me. So um, if you'll agree with me in prayer. So and dear Lord, we just thank you for this night. Lord God, we just thank you that we can come before you and just praise you and praise your birth and thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, Lord God. And we just thank you, and we just lift this night up to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
tonight. Aren't they good? Yes, we yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this night. God, I just thank you that uh, you sent your son as a baby into this world for us, God. And I pray right now that our hearts would be focused on the true meaning of what Christmas is, God. Thank you, Jesus. girls on <laughs> just today <laughs> a little bit if you know it feel free to sing along we're not going to put the words up but it's not that hard and you probably have heard it
upon you in a thousand generations, in your family, in your children, in the children, in the children, in his favor be upon you in a thousand generations, in your family, in your children, in the children, in the children. Before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you, He is with you, He is with you. In the morning, in the evening, in your coming and your going, in your weeping and rejoicing, and He's for you, He is for you, He is for you, He is for you. He is for you, he is for you, he is for you, he is for you. to follow that, because um, that was pretty incredible. Um, I'm going to start with uh, the true meaning of Christmas is a celebration of birth of Jesus Christ the Lord. Through his birth and the life, he teaches us about love, compassion, and forgiveness. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Denley's going to come up and read a scripture. He's going to read from Luke. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks. And an angel, an angel, angel of the Lord appeared around them. The glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that, will, that causes great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes, cloths and lying in a manger. manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared to them. With the angel praising God and God praising God and saying, "Glory to the God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those of whom He favors rests." When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, "Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about." So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. They, were, they had seen him. They spread the word concerning about what had been told, about, told them about this child. All who heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying, praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
Great job. Um, I was listening to a podcast with Kim today, um, and uh, if you come to our home group, you know it was Louis Giglio, and uh, he was talking about the three gifts that the, the, the wise men brought to Jesus. Gold, which is for a king. Incense, which is an expensive fragrance for high priest in the temple. And the third is myrrh. The thing about myrrh, it comes from a tree called a camifera, which is grown in the desert. It's a, not the most beautiful tree, but it's one of the most thorniest trees out there. And it's grown in like three countries in the Middle East, uh, parts of Africa and India. And the thing about this tree is not only is it so thorny, but when you break the branch, little drops that are red come from the sap. It's a sap that's little red drops. And when it lands on the branch, it turns like a crimson, like, like a color of blood. So this sap is used for healing. They used it for healing like wounds and stuff. But it was also used, which is pretty interesting, for a fragrance that they, for the dead. And they put this fragrance on the dead so that the smell it would, it, you, you could uh, not smell the, the, the bodies. So the, if you think about why these wise men gave them these gifts, especially the third one, when you think about a thorny crown, and when it was placed on Jesus' head, and the first thing it did was it bled. So he had the blood. So I, I envision that, 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 the myrrh from that coming from those thorns, not killing Jesus, but healing him. Setting him up, letting him know that what he is, what his purpose on, on earth was, which was to die for our sins. And the wise men knew that. They, you know, they knew what they were giving him. And what they gave him, and I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget, because I do forget. Though somehow the wise men knew that Jesus was going to need, on the day he did, what he came to do, that he was going to need that. And it's pretty powerful that these wise men knew what was coming. And uh, I just, it was just very interesting. It's a great podcast. If you want to hear it, let Kim know. She would forward it to you. Um, so we would like to do the candle lighting here right now. And uh, the two reasons we light candles tonight the first one is we light the candles for the arrival of Jesus, the light of the world, into the darkness of our lives. Next, the lit candles symbolize the spreading of Christ's love and proclamation of the good news to the world. Just as the angels announced to the birth of Jesus to the shepherds, we are called to share the message of God's love and redemption with others, which is what dimly read in, in, in verse 20, that the shepherds left and returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. So can you imagine where we'd be today if those shepherds would have just came, watched the birth, gave their gifts, and went back to what they do? They didn't. They do what, what we're called upon to do. We're called to go out and spread the news of Jesus and glorify his name and what he's done in our lives. So I highly, I just challenge you to do that. Challenge you to think of tomorrow when you're opening all your presents to think that this is the reason we're opening these presents is to glorify Jesus. So, um, I, got, I need some lights out. So what we'll do is I'll light the first candle. And then after my candle's lit, everybody light their candles. And we'll, so we'll represent the darkness and then the light that Jesus is, has, has brought to us. cross on how's that that's that's all right i think we, we lose need our it. sound if we turn that off we lose our sound all right
go ahead and start turning your candles on and we'll start singing. one more song we're gonna we're gonna go away and kind of fun do a little upbeat but I just want to thank you for coming tonight um, there's nothing more powerful than 
and Jesus' birth and, and to celebrate that and uh, singing, you know, singing, singing songs to him. I know we praise him every Sunday with those songs, but there's, this is about the birth of Christ, and it's just uh, it's a powerful night when you hear music like this. You hear the, the kids singing, and uh, we just want to thank you for coming. So I'm going to close us in prayer, and then we're going to sing Feliz Navidad. <laughs> All right. It's become a tradition. It's kind of come a tradition. We've started doing that. So, dear Lord, we just thank you for this night, Lord God, as we prepare for your birthday tomorrow, Lord God. And we just, uh, I lift up each and every person that came tonight to celebrate you, Lord God. And I just ask you just put angels around their cars as they go home and just let this be a glorious night and let it be a great day tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen.